Hey, my name's John. I'm the owner of Vector Finesse Solutions, and today we're doing a science experiment. So over my shoulder here, you can see that we have a car that doesn't have a front bumper. And so what we're going to try and do today is print a front lip spoiler. So the first thing we need to do is make the model, and I've already gone and done that. And so right now we're just keying all the parts so we can assemble them later. And so you can see here we have nine parts. We're going to print them all out. And we're speeding up the printing process quite a bit here. This is about 24 hours of printing in about 12 seconds. And so now that we got all the parts printed out, we're going to take some acetone and we're going to glue everything together. And remember kids, safety first. We're going to do a little bit of what's called solvent welding here. We'll start by putting some acetone on both sides of the joint and then we'll stick them together. This is gonna give us a really nice strong chemical bond, but just for insurance, we're gonna add a little bit more acetone to the outside. We just keep doing the same thing for all nine of the pieces, and once that's done, then we can move on to finishing. I decided that I'm gonna try something new, and so I have an Archie comic and some spray glue, and so I'm gonna take the pages of this Archie comic and I'm gonna spray glue them to the lip. For the people who do crafts, you guys will know this as a technique called decoupage. And obviously the first thing we're going to need is a big pile of pages, so we'll cut those out. And once that's all settled, we can spray some glue onto the lip and start attaching the pages. We want to make sure to smooth them out really, really well, just so that we don't have any air bubbles. And then after that, we just keep adding pages and pages until the whole thing's totally covered. Alrighty, now that the decoupage is complete, we can mount the lip onto the car. And so we're going to do that using this little system here. So we have a drywall anchor and the screw. And then this little thing here that I printed that's going to let us screw this in and then take up any of the extra slack without over tightening the screw and pulling the anchor out of the plastic. The first thing we'll need to do is tape the lip into place on the bumper. And then we can flip it over and mark where we're going to need the hole. And once we get that all done, then we can pull it off and drill all the holes and pop the anchors into place. After the anchors are all in place, then we can start putting the screws in and we're well on our way to getting everything all back onto the car. This is the material. So as you can tell by the fact that I actually have a lighting situation here and there's a headlamp on my head, it took me a little bit longer than I planned to get the lip on the car, but everything's all together, so let's go get some shots. Thank you. 